getting it's like intimate with the cats. I like the personalities. How to show that in my pictures. It's not a picture of a cat. It's a picture of my cat. And that's what I want to capture. And that's what they see at home. Their cat and their personality. And if I could draw it out of them, that's what I like. And that's what gets me where I'm going. Good girl. Yeah. Right now, I'm in uh, Precipity, New Jersey, and they're having a uh, three-day cat show under the International Cat Association. And I'm here to photograph as people desire. I need to go around and hand out flyers to people. Because that's an easier thing to do in the beginning of the day. 90% of these people know who I am, even though I still hand out my flyers. But most of them, they know, and they come already come looking and say, ah, I want pictures. I need to see you. But the beginning of the show, they're getting used to what the pace is. They want to make sure the cat is in good condition. They want to know the cat's not going to go like bonkers on them. So they get through a ring or maybe two, and then when they get a open space, then they come check with me about can I bring my cat down now and we'll figure out a background and I get ready. They get their cat ready and bring it over. We have also, what one. do I tell about my cat being here? What are, what are your numbers? 35, 123, and I think 123. Um, and you were never marked absent. I wasn't? No. Oh, okay, good. That works, thanks. Great. Okay, I'm sorry I keep ignoring you. I just have distractions every second. Susan is my wife, and she is the show manager of this show. 226 is absent. Is transferred to short hair. I think we've met four years ago. We were engaged for a couple of years and we got married last May. And we enjoy traveling together, even though she's in Pennsylvania and I'm down in Baton Rouge. <laughs> Makes a challenging relationship, but she understands what I do and I understand what she does showing cats and photographing cats. And, uh, <laughs> doing a Bengal crawl. <laughs> it takes a very open-minded person to accept that in a relationship. Visualize the picture before you click the shutter. You see that pattern, you see that image, and it's like, it's not like school portraits. Here's 1,500 kids from your graduating class and every picture looks basically the same. Gotcha, good girl, okay. Or somebody else was talking to me, well, cats don't have much expression, so they sure do. You don't have as much expression as the dogs do. Our cats are very subtle. So they're tense of the body, intense of their eyes. And I mean, it's that little relaxing and go like boom. That's when you need to be ready to take the picture. The harder ones are the ones that are a little scared. Nice. They're nervous. No, 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 they're not sure what ah. to do. Those are hard, they're challenges. The ones I put on toy and they jump around, hey, yeah, yeah, this is fun, 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 fun. That's great, but it's not just how fun it is, it's how good nice. you're gonna look. It's getting him to a point where that's the shot. You can't say, put your head up a little bit, put your nose down, turn to the left, turn to the right, put your foot out. The cat will say, no way, I'm doing my own thing. So. You have to kind of get them into doing their own thing with you. 
It's little tricks. It takes their mind off of what else is going on. And then they relax. And they relax and their personality comes out. And that's what I really want. That's what I look for. That's where I feel I've done my job. If I show them their cat in my pictures. Oh, and we showed dogs in the mid 70s, miniature schnauzers. And to show a dog, you to do anything, you have to put them with a professional handler and they live with the handler. This you do yourself. You groom them, you raise them, you put them in the ring and you show them yourself. And it's a very addictive hobby. Plus you go and you meet the people and you see a lot of the same people every weekend. So it's kind of a competitive social event. <laughs> well, I'm a cat fancier. I've been judging uh, now. In, I'm in my 30th year of judging. I judged last night, and uh, I'm showing today, and I'm just hearing that my cat's being called up to a ring. So I do. If you have a cat of a high enough quality that will title, it adds a little more prestige and recognition to your cattery. And you meet John Q. Public, you get to right. see people who have never met a Siberian before, uh, don't know anything about them. So it's really a good thing to be showing. I've had some stunning, stunning photographs done by Larry. He's been able to bring out the qualities of the cat. I've had nothing but positive experiences with Larry. Don't do the high-res, and we need high-res pictures, what's that going to cost later? 10 per image. And what's high-res, 60 for the 60? 65 for the low-res, and 90 for the high-res. I think, and it may not be just because certain people don't have kids, but there's a lot of people that either are older or don't have kids, and not necessarily wishing to have kids, but their animals are their kids. They don't talk back. <laughs> they might bark or meow at you, but they don't talk back at you. You know, but it's another affinity of having companionship. And it's a very close companionship with animals. They, they love unconditionally. You think cats love unconditionally? Yes, but they, they have their own agenda. They, they love in a different way. They lock on to a person. They become their little mother type of thing. I'm gonna take care of Elaine. Tomorrow I leave off to go back home for a few days and Friday I head over to Cleveland to start this all over again and see another group of kitties and you know, it's the way the business is. <laughs> <laughs>